Tree Pose Version 3. Standing with your feet together, spread your toes. Root down through the four corners of your feet and lift your inner arches up. Activate the muscles of your legs like strong tree trunks growing up from the ground. Lengthen the back of your pelvis down and lift your abdomen up. Bring your left foot up to the top of the inner right thigh with your toes pointing down. Press the right thigh and left foot against each other strongly for stability. Look straight ahead and find a place across the room to focus on to help you balance. Inhale and stretch your arms out to the side and up as far as you can vertically. You may join your palms together or keep your arms straight up near your ears. Pull your shoulders back and your ribs in. Keep stretching intensely through your arms, your legs, and your torso. Imagine that your fingers are digging into the ceiling above you. The hip of the standing leg has a tendency to swing forward, so pull it back, making sure both hip bones are facing forward, engaging your glute. Continue to breathe, taking deep inhales and long exhales. On your next exhale, bring your left foot down and rest on two feet. Again, root down through all four corners of your feet and lift your inner arches up. Activate the muscles of your legs, lengthen the back of your pelvis down and lift your abdomen up. Bring your right foot up to the top inner right thigh. Press the right thigh and left foot against each other. Look straight ahead and find something to focus on. Inhale and stretch your arms out to the side and up as far as you can vertically. Join your palms together or keep your arms straight up near your ears. Pull your shoulders back and down, ribs tuck in. Keep stretching intensely through your arms, through your legs, through your torso. Pull the hip of your standing leg back. Continue to breathe, taking deep inhales and long exhales. On your next exhale, bring your right foot down and rest on two feet for a moment. Triangle Pose, version three. Step your feet apart so that your ankles line up under your wrists when your arms stretch out to the sides. Turn your right foot 90 degrees out and your left foot about 30 degrees in. Align your right heel with the arch of your left foot. Inhale and stretch your arms out, pulling your shoulder blades towards your spine. Exhale and incline your torso to the right while your hips shift to the left. Touch the floor on the outside of your right foot with your fingertips or place your hand over your ankle. Rest your left hand on your waist. Inhale, firm your leg muscles, keeping your legs straight. Lift your abdomen, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, shift your hips more to the left. Extend your torso out over your right leg, bending at the hips, not the waist. Feel the stretch in the back of your right leg and the left side of the pelvis. Distribute your weight evenly on both feet. Don't let the left side of your torso round towards the ceiling. Make sure to keep both sides of your torso long and parallel. Activate your core to keep your torso lifted. Roll your left shoulders, ribs, waist back and up. Stretch your left arm straight up towards the ceiling. Turn your head to look up towards your left hand. Continue to breathe with deep inhales and long exhales. On your next inhale, slowly come back up. Turn your left foot 90 degrees out and your right foot in about 30 degrees. Align your left heel with the arch of your right foot. Inhale, stretch your arms out, pulling your shoulder blades towards your spine. 
As you exhale, incline your torso to the left while your hips shift to the right. Touch the floor on the outside of your left foot with your fingertips or place your hand over your ankle. Rest your right hand on your waist. As you inhale, firm your leg muscles, keep your legs straight, lift your abdomen, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, shift your hips more to the right. Extend your torso out and over your left leg, bending at the hips, not the waist. Feel the stretch in the back of the left leg and right side of the pelvis. Distribute your weight evenly on both feet. Don't let the right side of your torso round towards the ceiling. Keep both sides of your torso long and parallel. Activate your core and keep your torso lifted. Roll your right shoulder, ribs, and waist back and up. Stretch your right arm straight up towards the ceiling. Turn your head and look up towards your right hand. On your next inhale, slowly come back up. Warrior two, version three. Raise your arms to shoulder height and step your feet apart so that your ankles line up under your wrists. Turn your right foot out about 90 degrees. Inhale, firm your legs, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, bend your right knee until it's over your ankle. Point your knee towards your second toe. Your right thigh should be parallel to the floor and your knee should be just above your ankle with your shin vertical. You may find that you need to step a little bit further apart to achieve this. Draw your tailbone down, lift your abdomen, lift your torso up to vertical. Spread your arms wide, palms down, shoulders back. Look to the right with your head, neck, and spine aligned straight up over the center of your pelvis. Don't let your knee drop inwards. Keep it pointing towards your second toe. Continue to breathe with deep inhales and longer exhales. On your next inhale, slowly come back up. Again, raise your arms to shoulder height and turn your left foot out 90 degrees. Inhale, firm your legs, lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, bend your left knee until it's over your ankle. Point your knee towards your second toe. Your left thigh should be parallel to the floor. Knee should be above your ankle. Shin should be vertical. Draw your tailbone down, lift your abdomen, lift your torso. Spread your arms wide, palms down, shoulders back. Look to the left with your head, neck, and spine aligned straight over your pelvis. Don't let your knee drop inwards. Check to see that it's pointing towards your second toe. Continue to breathe, taking deep inhales and even longer exhales. On your next inhale, slowly come back up. Side angle pose, version three. Place a block towards the right side of your mat. Step your feet apart so that your ankles line up under your wrists when your arms are outstretched. Turn your right foot parallel to the long edge of the mat. The block should be on the big toe side of your foot. Inhale, firm your legs and lengthen through your spine. As you exhale, bend your right knee until it's over your ankle. Point your knee towards your second toe. Exhale, bend your torso to the right and place your right forearm on the right thigh. Place your left hand on your waist. Move your left thigh back, curl your tailbone towards the left heel. Tighten your lower belly and rotate your left knee outward to face straight ahead. 
Place your right hand on the block and raise your left arm straight up towards the ceiling. Bring your left arm over your ear, palm facing down. Stretch in all directions, strongly engaging your legs and core. Don't let your knee drop inwards. Continue to breathe with deep inhales and long exhales. On your next inhale, slowly come back up. Place the block on the other side of your mat. Again, step your feet apart so that your ankles line up onto your wrists when your arms are outstretched. Turn your left foot parallel to the long edge of the mat. The block should be on the big toe side of your foot. Inhale, firm your legs, lengthen up through your spine, as you exhale, bend your left knee until it's over your ankle. Point your knee towards your second toe. Exhale, bend your torso to the left and place your left forearm on your left thigh. Place your right hand on your waist. Move your right thigh back, curl your tailbone towards your right heel. Tighten your lower belly and rotate your right knee outward to face straight ahead. Place your left hand on the block and raise your right arm straight up towards the ceiling. Bring your right arm over your ear, palm facing down. Make sure it's in the same diagonal line as the rest of your body, not forward or back. Stretch in all directions, strongly engaging your legs and core. Don't let your knee drop inwards and continue to take long inhales and longer exhales. Next inhale, slowly come back up. Revolve triangle version three. Place a block near the end of your mat on the left side. Step your feet apart so that your ankles line up under your wrists when your arms are outstretched. Place your left foot next to the block with your foot facing the short edge of the mat. Internally rotate your right foot in about 30 degrees. Align your left heel with the arch of your right foot. Stretch your arms out to either side. Gently turn the right side of your torso until you can rest your right hand on the block or on the floor. Allow your left arm to lift up behind you, forming a straight line vertical with your right arm. Keep your neck straight and your gaze forward. Avoid the temptation to lean into your hand. Inhale, firm your legs to keep them straight, lengthen through your spine. Distribute the weight evenly on both feet. Exhale and extend through both arms. Continue to take long inhales and longer exhales. Move your block over to the other side of the mat. Again, step your feet apart so that your ankles line up under your wrists when your arms are stretched out to the sides. Place your right foot next to the block with your foot facing the short edge of the mat. Turn your left foot in about 30 degrees. Align your right heel with the arch of your left foot. Stretch your arms out to either side and gently turn the left side of your torso until you can rest your left hand on the block or on the floor. Allow your right arm to lift up behind you, forming a straight line vertically with your left arm. Keep your neck straight, gaze forward, avoid the temptation to lean into your hand. Inhale, firm your legs, keep them straight, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, extend out through both arms. Feel the twist in the left side all along the spine. Continue to breathe, taking long inhales and longer exhales. Slowly come back up.
Locust version 3. Lie on your stomach with your arms at your sides. Rest your forehead on the mat with your legs straight behind you, hip width apart. Press your weight evenly across the tops of both feet. Lengthen the crown of your head forward and your toes back as you inhale. Slowly raise your chest, arms, and legs off the floor. Turn your palms away from your body so your upper arm bones rotate externally and your shoulder blades come together. Gaze forward. Don't strain your neck in this position. The neck often tends to come up too fast because it's the easiest part of the spine to move. So make sure to lift your head slowly and gently. Keep your legs very active, elongating your tailbone and legs away from your lower back to avoid any crunching feeling in the back. Draw your ribs and upper back forward. Pull your shoulder blades back towards your spine to prevent them from curling in. Breathe deeply into your upper back. Exhale as you slowly release your body to the ground. Rest your right ear on the mat and relax your arms at your sides for a few breaths. When you're ready, again, rest your forehead on the mat. Press your weight evenly across the tops of both feet. Lengthen the crown of your head forward and your toes back. Inhale, slowly raise your chest, arms, and legs off the floor. Turn your palms away from your body. Gaze forward. Activate your legs. Lengthen your tailbone and legs away from your lower back. Draw your ribs and upper back forward. Pull your shoulder blades back towards your spine. Breathe deeply into your upper back. Inhale, and on your next exhale, slowly release your body to the ground. Rest your left ear on the mat and relax your arms at your sides. Bridge Pose, version two and three. Lie on your back, bend your knees, and place your feet hip width apart and parallel, about six to eight inches from your hips. Place your arms alongside your body with your palms facing up. Inhale. And as you exhale, engage your abdominal muscles. Inhale and slowly lift your hips and chest. Clasp your hands underneath you, tucking each shoulder under, rocking side to side to do so. Your weight should be supported by your shoulders rather than your neck. As you inhale, lift your hips higher. Your glutes should be moderately engaged to lift your hips, but not engaged so much that it causes your knees to splay out. Press your shoulders towards the floor. Press your pelvis up. Press down into your feet, pressing your weight into all four corners of your feet. Legs should remain parallel, energetically hugging them in towards the center line. Don't let the knees splay out to the sides. Keep pressing into the shoulders, lifting through the pelvis. Breathe deeply into your abdomen. Take a long inhale and a longer exhale. Slowly unclasp your hands and lower yourself back down to the floor, sacrum coming down first. Take a few long, deep breaths. Again, place your feet hip width and parallel. Arms alongside your body, palms facing up. Inhale, and as you exhale, engage your abdominal muscles. Inhale, slowly lift your hips and chest. Tuck your shoulders under and clasp your hands underneath you. Inhale, gently engage your glutes to lift your hips. Knees remain parallel. Press your shoulders into the ground, lift your pelvis higher. Press down evenly into all four corners of your feet, breathing deeply into your abdomen. Keep pressing down into the shoulders and lifting up through your pelvis.
Unclasp your hands and as you exhale, slowly lower back down to the floor, sacrum coming down first. Take several deep breaths to relax. Supine hand to foot version three. Lie on your back and bend both knees to plant your feet on the mat. Loop a belt around your right foot. Slowly lift your right leg until it's straight as possible. Your shoulders should remain down with your arms extended straight, so readjust the grip on the strap if necessary. Keep your chin down, elongate the back of your neck. If you're feeling stable here, straighten your left leg along the ground. Engage your legs by pressing the belt into your right foot and pressing your left thigh into the floor. Keep your spine straight and your shoulders relaxed. Keep both feet engaged, press your left calf into the mat. Take a deep inhale and a long exhale. Take hold of the belt with your right hand. Slowly draw your leg to the side, about 30 to 60 degrees. Keep your other leg a little more internally rotated with your toes pointing up and the back of your thigh grounding down. Don't let your left hip come off the floor. Press your left palm into your thigh to keep it grounded down. Gaze up and breathe evenly. Engage your legs by pressing into the belt with your foot and pressing your left thigh into the floor. Keep your shoulders down. Inhale to draw your leg back up to center and exhale to gently lower your foot back down. Take a moment to rest. Bend both knees again and loop the belt around your left foot. Slowly lift your left leg until it's as straight as possible. Adjust your grip on the strap so that your arms are straight and your shoulders are back and down. Elongate the back of your neck by tucking your chin slightly. If you're feeling stable here, straighten your right leg along the ground. Engage your legs, pressing into the belt with your left foot and pressing your right thigh into the floor. Keep your shoulders back and down, both feet engaged, right calf pressing into the mat. Take a deep inhale and a longer exhale. Take hold of the strap with your left hand. Slowly draw your leg to the side. Keep your right leg a little more internally rotated, toes pointing up. Keep your thigh grounding down, right hip pulling down. Gaze up, take a long inhale, longer exhale. Pressing up into the belt with your left foot and down into the mat with your right thigh. Keep your spine straight and your shoulders relaxed. Inhale and slowly draw your leg back up to the center and exhale to gently lower your foot back down again. Marichiasana version two and three. Sit with your legs straight, pelvis tilted forward. Press your hands into the mat to lift your spine without lifting your shoulders. Bend your right knee and place your foot flat on the floor close to your hip. Root down through the left leg. Inhale, lift your left arm up and turn your lower ribs towards the right, using your core strength to twist. Hook your left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Keep your spine as tall as possible. Point your left hand straight up. Your right hand stays on the floor to help support your spine. Inhale to lift and exhale to twist more if you can, walking your right hand further around behind you. Resist the urge to hold your breath. Breathe deeply into the twist and keep your spine lifting up through the top of your neck.
Take another inhale. And as you exhale, release the twist and come back to center with both legs straight forward again. Again, press your hands into the mat to lift your spine without lifting your shoulders. Bend your left knee and place your foot flat on the floor close to your hip. Root down through the right leg. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift your right arm and turn your lower ribs towards the left using your core strength to twist. Hook your right elbow on the outside of your left knee. Keep your spine as tall as possible. Point your right hand straight up and use your left hand on the ground to support your spine. Inhale, and as you exhale, twist a bit deeper, walking your left hand around. Keep taking deep inhales and longer exhales. Keep your spine lifting up through the top of your neck. Take one more inhale, and as you exhale, release the twist. Matsyandrasana version two and three. Sit with your legs stretched out in front of you. Press your hands into the mat to lift your spine without lifting your shoulders. Bend your left knee and place your left foot on the floor outside your right leg with your shin vertical. Bend your right knee and bring your right foot to the outside of your left hip with your knee on the floor pointing forward. If this bothers your knee, keep your right leg straight. Place both hands on your left knee. As you inhale, lift your spine and root down through the pelvic bone. As you exhale, turn towards the left. Cross your right elbow to the outside of your left knee and point your hand upward and bring your left hand to the floor behind you. Gaze over your left shoulder, keeping your spine long. Move deeper into the twist if you feel comfortable. Take another deep inhale. And as you exhale, slowly release the twist and come back to center. This time, bend your right knee and place your right foot on the floor outside your left leg with your shin vertical. Bend your left knee and bring your left foot to the outside of your right hip with your knee on the floor pointing forward. Again, if it's more comfortable for you, you can leave your leg straight. Place both of your hands on your right knee. As you inhale, lift your spine up and root down through your pelvic bones. As you exhale, turn towards the right. Cross your left elbow on the outside of your right knee and point your hand upwards and bring your right hand to the floor behind you. Gaze over your right shoulder, keeping your spine long. Inhale and exhale to twist a bit more. Take another inhale, and as you exhale, slowly release the twist and come back to center. Corpse Pose. Lie on your back with your legs out straight and your arms by the sides of your body, palms facing up. Let your feet roll apart as you relax. If lying with your legs straight creates any discomfort in your lower back, Place a cushion underneath your knees. Close your eyes. Feel the back of your head on the mat. Relax your jaw. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your cheeks and your tongue. Gently inhale, feeling your abdomen and chest rise. Exhale as they drop. Inhale, and each time you exhale, release more tension in your body. Feel all points of contact between your body and the floor. And sink down through these points of contact. 
letting go of anywhere you're holding on to your body. Keep breathing and letting go and I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. You can stay here longer or gently start to deepen your breath. Invite small movements into the body, moving your fingers, moving your toes. Lift your arms over your head and give your whole body a stretch. Gently roll over to your right side and rest here for a few breaths. Place your left palm into the ground in front of you and slowly push yourself up to seated. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes. <laughs>